Welcome back. I'm Shaq and we got ourselves another video. Dr. Umar calls Candace Owens industry plant and she kind of triggered him. Let's just be honest. She triggered him. Now let's all be honest. We can all get triggered. I had my fair share of being triggered. Do it all the time. Can't stop myself. Boy, it must be raining outside because my knee hurt for some reason. But hold up. If you just hitting this video, need to hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And down in the comment section, give me a thumbs up or a heart. Just let me know that it's real. Let's waste no more time. Let's roll the clip. I want to go back to something you said earlier because I know a lot of people will hear you say, well, Candace, you're speaking a lot about, you know, the black family, but then you married a white man. Yeah. I'm Dr. Always, Umar would have a huge problem with that. Yeah. Are you familiar with Dr. Umar? I have heard of him. I have not listened to him. I'll be honest. Mm -hmm. What is his argument, actually, if you could just repurpose his argument? Uh, he feels that, everything you know, black. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, no, no, everything. No, he, feel, he feels black men should be with black women because when you're talking about it from an economic standpoint, you want to grow the wealth as a black family but that and, doesn't, and if you marry somebody from another race then you know your wealth will be with that person and he doesn't like that i believe candace owens is a paid negro pen i had to stop this for a second just to let you know candace owens i believe you know exactly who umar johnson is and what he says I'm not gonna lie to you if you could read umar johnson text that's what he was saying it was like candace owens i do believe you know who umar johnson is and he was just pretending he didn't that's my opinion, though. One thing you have to understand about the white power structure when you're talking about Candace Owens and Jesse Lee Peterson's. OK, one thing you have to understand, the white power structure through the government or through the corporate structure, they find influential Negroes and they buy them out. I'll pay you a dollar to shut up. In order to change the level of consciousness in black America. Candace Owens was sponsored by the white power structure so she could begin to dilute the black what the first narrative. Candace Owens and Jesse Lee Peterson, these kind of Negroes, these types of Negroes are found and funded. They are found and funded in order to distract from the narrative so you have to understand something i understand what you're saying i disagree because first off just lee pearson is a troll he's 100 just a troll and umar i ain't gonna lie you gonna have to confront the situation about sukiana and sexy red you won't say nothing about sexy red and sukiana anymore like you just went quiet about that you want us to believe candace owens were paid by caucasians to mess up everything but sukiana and sexy red nah that's just that's just universal law hood reds, they love the hood reds. you got to talk about that first before you want people to listen to you about candace owens intellectual confusion is the enemy of mass organization brother robert intellectual confusion is the enemy of mass organization so what they love to do they see me out here right so they say okay let's look at the black intellectual landscape so they set back and they say okay we have to continue to control the narrative social network is making it difficult for us to control the narrative for black america because you have people like Dr. Umar Ifatunde, who's the leading black radical scholar in the world for African people. We have Dr. Umar Ifatunde, who's the leading black radical scholar, period, in the African diaspora. And then underneath him, you have all of these copycats who take his content and repeat it. So it's a. I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. Boy, you got an ego on you. Jesus Christ. You don't think all that flexing you was doing is going to make you catch a cramp? I'm going to be honest with you, Dr. Umar. It don't look like you drink a lot of water and eat bananas. So you can cramp up from flexing that hard. So you're the leading pro-black scholar. So you just going to erase Booker T. Coleman. You erase Dr. Claude Anderson. You erase Shazara Ali. 
You erased Captain Tazariak. Uh, you erased all these other people and just say that your name, everybody else is copycats. You erased Tariq Nasheed. You, you, you two do like the same thing. And like we didn't see you on Hidden Colors. Like, what is this? The whole, he has a whole movement. The intellectual insurrection that Dr. Umar is leading. They say, okay, we have to take away from Dr. Umar's power in the social media sector. Oh, chill out, chill out. Because he's getting too many views and black people are tuning into Dr. Umar as much as they tune into CNN. Black people are tuning into Dr. Umar as much as they tune into a Roland Martin. And Roland Martin is not as bad as a Candace Owens or a Jesse Lee Peterson, but Roland Martin is another example of a found and financed Negro. So Roland Martin doesn't push the Republican agenda. He pushes the Democrat agenda. Roland Martin doesn't push the Republican agenda. Roland Martin pushes the Democrat agenda. But whether it's Candace Owens on the Republican side or Roland Martin on the Democrat side, both sides are anti-black independence. Both sides. What the? Are anti black revolution. Both sides are anti African family first. So whether it I can understand that Roland Martin is just like a Democrat. He's like he's he's a black Democrat. I I I can rock with that. Candace Owens, black Republican. The only Republican pro black that I've noticed, like this might be more, but I noticed. O'Shea. I don't know if ABL is, but he might be. But mostly who I know is, is O'Shea. So I can understand him saying that. I don't know if they both are trying to keep black people down, but I do know pro-black Republican is O'Shea. I don't see pro-black Democrats. I see black people who are Democrats saying things that are somewhat pro-black, but it's for everybody. So it's like, it's not really pro-black. Whether it's Roland Martin feeding you integration or Candace Owens feeding you integration, neither one is feeding you Pan-Africanism. Neither one is feeding you Pan-Africanism. So the Democrats are financing Roland and the Republicans are financing Candace, okay? And both of those roads are diverting you from the road to liberation. Well, Umar, now you got to find out if people are actually Pan-African. Because if they're not Pan-African, they're going the road that they want to go. Road to liberation is not paved with the Democratic Party or the Republican Party. The road to liberation is not paved with the Democratic Party or the Republican Party. I heard you the first time. So my voice... Although I'm largely alone, supported by you all, is a very, very powerful voice. They're looking at most of the YouTubian struggle streamers and they're saying, well, those guys ain't doing nothing but talk about gossip, talking about each other, slandering black people, chasing celebrities, goofing off. Who is he talking about? They have no real constructive content. Disloyal, fool-ass, bitch-made punk. You got a point? I ain't gonna lie to you. We, we do talk about gossip. They have no real constructive content. It's all gossip and sensationalism. But this Dr. Umar Ifatunde guy. So we have to intensify Candace Owens. We have to intensify Jesse Lee Peterson. We have to intensify Roland Martin. We got to intensify all the beta male Democratic... No. Nah. No, okay. Beta man. Oh, I didn't even know you use words like big screen. I didn't even know he used words like that. What did Dr. Umar start calling people beta males? You gonna call yourself an alpha next? You're swinging like a limp wristed beta male feminist. I can now kind of see why Umar Johnson has fallouts with multiple people. Boy, I ain't gonna lie to you. That ego on you, brother man. That ego on you is a problem. Who is your daddy? Who's your daddy guy? You need to work on that. Sweet 
Jesus. Now, Dr. Umar, I have been on your side on multiple occasions, but you always find a way to lose his damn mind. He loses his mind. And he looks at you and say, King Kong consciousness. Oh, for f sake. Not that again. Come on, Umar. What do you want people to say? How do you want people to be on your side when you do what you're doing? Candace Owens, industry plan. Possibly, but she can't be if Sukiyana and Sexy Red ain't. I'm trying to get, get my, my coochie, coochie stretch. stretch. I'm trying to get my coochie stretch and eat a nigga ass. Eat a nigga ass. We be eating niggas ass today in London. Period. Logical. You, it's, it makes no sense. Why would they put an industry plant that literally dates out? It would be kind of easier to get black people to go with you if you, you know, if you pull Obama, I'm just going to say, if you did what Obama and Michelle did, kind of easier to get black people to listen. Because who you think black people listen to more, Obama or Candace Owens? Um, I don't know, man. Now, I still think Umar Johnson has a good heart behind the things he attempts to do. Maybe. Might also just be doing it for money. I will never know. He ain't lying. Umar Johnson, you gonna have to correct the mistakes you made in the past to Kiana before you think that you can just act like it didn't exist and start talking about other people. Or you just don't have to listen to me. I hope you liked this video. If you haven't already, hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to watch more videos like this, you should go watch my shorts or hit the notification bell so you'll know when another video coming out.